this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different on our Japanese trip. We're going to be spending 18 hours aboard this Japanese ferry. But this isn't any regular ferry. They have rooms that look like this. Hi, we're Steven, Jess and Little Hunter. And today we're going to be boarding this overnight ferry that will take us from Tokyo to Hokkaido to see these incredible hot and natural springs as well as some Japanese shrines in this final Japan vlog in our epic two-week series. <laughs> so one thing we've learned this year is when your ship or your ferry says it leaves from a major city, it really doesn't. Our ferry says it's leaving from Tokyo, but the ferry terminal is about a three-hour journey to get to. So we're at Yuno Station and we're going to jump on two trains to get us down there. I don't think so. <laughs> you pushed the wrong button. What is it, honey? I think you're finding out what this is. Let's see what Hunter's first choice was. It's like a medicine drink. <laughs> Can I first say that she pushed the button for this? Mm -hmm. Tasty. Yes. that it's a 15 minute little tram ride and you've arrived in a ride. Boarding closes in about 40 minutes and I kid you not we left at one o'clock thinking we had ample enough time but we've just come to the Urai ferry terminal. We haven't even arrived at the terminal we're trying to find the terminal. <laughs> but I feel like that's all part of the adventure right? Hopefully up here there's a terminal. Hopefully our names are on the list and hopefully we're gonna be jumping on a ferry otherwise where are we sleeping tonight? There's three hours back in Tokyo. <laughs> Let's make sure we can go catch this ferry. Like <laughs> honey you are that building there. Okay. Yeah, that building there. Oh, Google Translate cracks me up. I think there's a mistranslation. She's like, you can afford with my wife or something. She was talking about Jess and she just lost her. <laughs> my wife, yes. <laughs> but we have our so tickets. Sweet. There's no need to worry because boarding is until six. And it's like, what, five now? Thank you. We're on board, just like that. And we're staying on deck seven. Oh, so the seven decks, we're at the top. I see our room. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Six. Yeah, Fancy. Who's going to help us take it to our room first? Oh, I got a hair. Oh, I got a hair. Wow. <laughs> and the other bed? Mommy, Daddy, jump a bed too. Jump a bed too? Okay. It looks like a full on hotel room. What are we booked? This is on a ferry? Oh my goodness, compared this to the one in Tassie. Just a little bit different than the bunk bedroom. Oh wow, Steve, this is so nice. I can't wait to see the views in the morning because yeah, we're leaving at night. Hunter, have you already jumped on the bed? Yeah. What? Which bed's your bed? Come show me. Is this your one? Yes. So one thing to note is that ever since we've come on the ferry, everything is in Japanese, but everyone's been so lovely translating. Now, what do you think's behind this door? Bathtub. Should we go look? Yes. Do you think they're gonna have a hot tub? Hunter calls bathtubs hot tubs, by the way. Wow! Whoa! The bath is huge, Hunter. Hunter, look how big the shower head is. Look up. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest bathroom we've ever had on like a, on a ship. Biggest everything. I just want like an overnight ferry. <laughs> Japan knows how to do transportation. Look at the size of my balcony. Look, go lay on them. Oh, I cannot wait to see what it looks like tomorrow. I'm pulling into Hokkaido. Wow, but Hunter's already resting. Hunter, are you on holiday? Yeah, I'll make it back. And then you go, ah. You know how to chill. All right, question. Who wants dinner? Me. 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 Let's do it. I've seen this sign twice now and I'm very interested what a milk vending machine is. Something for tomorrow. And of course, I know the word. This is for another story, but being from Australia where it is so strict about buying alcohol, just being able to pop cash in a vending machine and get beer just blows my mind. Like we have stores dedicated to liquor. You can't just go to your local grocery store and buy it. <laughs> Oh, 
I think I did. So because we booked sweet, we have our dinner, breakfast and lunch tomorrow. But if you are coming on the ferry and you're booking like a standard room, bring cash because the vending machine where you kind of buy dinner only takes cash. So just remember that it's about 13 bucks or you can do like a package deal which gives you breakfast and dinner. But it's our first Japanese buffet, Jess. They had so much stuff seen as well on the coast. I've got some fish, I've got some sort of quiche, I've got noodles, I've got rice and phantom melon. And um, as you can tell, Auntie's on to her next course. I think she wants to come see what food you've got on offer. Oh, is it the food or is it this that Hunter's looking at? <laughs> Cheers. But for 13 bucks for a buffet, I'm pretty impressed, Jess. <laughs> Oh my gosh, all right, we're gonna win something, aren't we? I'm gonna win a minion. Coin me, Dad. This one, Hunter? Oh, come on. Oh, 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 yeah. Let's go. It's in here. Oh, yeah. I won you a little kitty cat. What are you going for? Oh, this minion. Oh, what is it? Oh, I got you something. Hunter. What is it? girls are off trying to win as many plushies as possible. I thought I'd come out because I felt the boat leaving and we are now officially saying goodbye to Honshu and we're heading up to Hokkaido. I know it's not much to see at night. It is an overnight ferry but we'll definitely be up in the morning to show you guys what it looks like. Hey, a quick thing while remembering because I can see it. That's the other ferry there. There's two. There's the evening ferry they call it and then there's like the midnight ferry and that's the one that leaves at midnight and then gets into Hokkaido in the evening. We leave in the evening. I know it doesn't make much sense and get in about midday but if you can't make the six o'clock departure there's the other one there <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> so we are we're not gonna do a cool scene but this is a, a pretty rocking fairy i think <laughs> like the lights are flickering in here <laughs> hunter <laughs> What's this? Do we switch up the lights and plug it in? Yeah, plug it in. Okay, hold that for daddy, please. Had to look up on the roof. What is that? Stars. The stars. So it means when we go to sleep, we can look at the stars. Well, Hunter, are we going to sleep with the stars above us? Yeah. That's cool. All right, well, I guess we'll see you guys in the morning. Hunter, say night-night. Night! -night. night, -night. <laughs> <laughs> guys decided to set the alarm and wake up for sunrise because it's not every day you're on a boat in the Japanese sea for sunrise and it doesn't disappoint so don't they say things that are the most beautiful come with the roughest territory this is definitely the uh, roughest seas we've ever been on This need some milk. The milk vending machine. <laughs> Good morning everybody from uh, somewhere in the Japanese sea as we make our way towards Hokkaido. It's kind of cool because we are traveling along the water's edge. So we're currently uh, traveling around Japan in November and it's definitely coming into winter. A little bit chillier than our little cruise in the Mediterranean in the middle of the year. But you know what? I'm just going to take it and embrace it. 
We just wanted to say a massive thank you to our longtime friends and partners of this channel, Squarespace, for helping make this little Japan series possible. So if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform we can easily put together a website or blog. We just love using Squarespace for our own personal blog. It's an amazing place to put our photographs, memories, so we just have one location that we can go back and look at our beautiful photos from this Japan trip. It's so easy to put together a website thanks to their award-winning template designs and 24-7 customer support. So if you are thinking of putting together one over the holiday season, I'll leave a link below so you can get 10% off your first order plus a free trial. Now let's head back to this final Japan episode. Alright, we only have a couple of hours left to enjoy every moment of being in this suite, so we thought we'll quickly show you around. So, the Sunflower Ferrano, which is the passenger and car ferry that we're currently on here in Japan, holds about 590 people. And even though it's only seven decks high, I've never seen so many different room configurations on a ship, on a ferry in my life. So let's start at the cheapest room and work your way up. Now the first two rooms I'm going to talk about, it looks like they've shut them down because of COVID. I'm sure they're going to open up soon. So the first one is called the tourist room and um, it's essentially a hall and you sleep on tatami mats on the floor with about 20 other passengers. Now the next one is called the comfort room. I would have loved to have done this room to show you guys. We'll just have to save it for you next time. But essentially, it's a capsule room on this ferry. Think Harry Potter living under the stairs, and that's probably what you need to know. So to kick things off, our room has its very own hallway covered in cupboards to store all your things. And last night in this one was where we found our pajamas that we slept in. Steve only just told me that they have amenity kits, which would be nice to know yesterday. <laughs> Look at this. Two full-blown amenity kits with all these things. You know what I think this is for? This ship, by the way, has its very own onsen. And if you're not sure what an onsen is, it's like a Japanese kind of like hot tub and it's communal and you go in there naked and you put a little towel on your head. Is that right, Steve? Correct. Because I see that there's a little towel that you can use. It's like, oh, fancy shampoos and conditioners and stuff that you can bathe yourself with. Pretty cool. So we have that and slippers. I could have used those as well yesterday. Welcome to our living room slash kitchen slash chill room. So as you can see, this is huge. Just the space itself is bigger than our last hotel room in Tokyo. As you can see, they've given us coffee, green tea making facilities, a kettle. We have a fridge. They gave us some beers and green tea and waters. Well, you didn't tell me we have drinks in here. Plenty of drinks in here. Look, all free for us. And then if you're staying with a bigger family or with some friends, this pulls out and turns into another bed. You then have two chairs here, TV number one, a little office station slash makeup station, a dining table if you want to eat your food, air conditioning, and this is just the first room. And coming through here is our bedroom. <laughs> We've got two very comfy beds. I will say though, this has been a problem in all of Japan. Pillows, they're like little thin pancakes, but better, sometimes they're like, they feel like you're sleeping on stones. <laughs> so I'm gonna say the, bed, the beds are comfy, pillows, they need to be fluffier. But anyway, this is our bedroom and what I didn't realise until we came in here last night is that there is an entire other TV just as big on this side. So if you want to, you can watch some shows in your living room and then make your way over to your bedroom and continue watching in here. But it definitely feels like luxurious vibes. They've got like the gold leaf on the walls. Oh, even the bed is gold. And each bed has its own little table and chair set up. And as we showed you last night, we have a bathroom with a full-size tub. I think that's like my favorite part about the whole room. Actually, no, my favorite thing about the whole room has to be the balcony. It's a bit windy. <laughs> And the views are awesome as well because we're kind of cruising just along the coast of Japan. So you're seeing all these beautiful landscapes as we go along. But yes, it is a little bit windy out here. But, um, balcony. Huge balcony. Wait, you go on that end. Huge balcony. So the main things are all on deck six, including the promenade. It's this big area where you can sit, have a drink, and it is lined with windows. So you can see all the views coming past. And then on the fifth floor, you're gonna find the two onsens, one for the men and one for the female. They are separate, as well as the kids' land, but it's currently closed, and a little shop. Oh, Hunter's planning to shop up big. <laughs> Hunter, look, it's a toy of the ships. Are we putting this in the basket? Yes, the basket, yeah. Game called Uno. Hello. Yeah, Uno. You have to match the colours. Who is that? Mario. Mario. And he's your favourite. Who's that? Yoshi. That's right. The match boss. Them. And who's that? Matt. <laughs> <laughs> His name's Donkey Kong. 
you guys have been following along on our little Japanese series, you would have seen back in Mount Fuji, we hired a car and we actually love driving around Japan in a car. So we've done it again here in Hokkaido. Oh, and welcome to Hokkaido. Last night, it was like pitch black. So this morning, we've woken up in an area called Hell's Valley and it is so fitting because at the moment there are fire red leaves and oranges because we're currently in Japan during autumn and it is so stunning. And as you can see, volcanic water is just like bursting through this little town that we're in. <laughs> wow. So it was fitting to have these statues around Hell's Valley. So these are onis, which are in Japanese folklore, they're kind of like ghosts. Yeah, they're kind of sprinkled all around the little town. I did it, yeah. So brave. Now it's not called Hell's Valley because of all the beautiful autumn leaves. It is called Hell's Valley because of this dramatic crater behind me spurting out volcanic hot water. Look how incredible that is. And I'm so thankful we're here when we are because it is even better. Look at those trees up there matching the rock. That is beautiful. It looks like a tapestry. It looks like a painting. It doesn't look real. <laughs> this is why I love Japan so much. There are always new experiences every time we visit. We had no idea that this was in Hokkaido until we arrived. This place is so volcanic. I can hear the bubbling water and there is steam everywhere. How beautiful is the water looking? We're just following this trail and they said at the end there's a place where the temperature is good enough where you can go and soak your feet. So Hunter, we've come to a very special hot tub, okay? okay. And here we put our, our feet in. So we're going to get a little mat, so I'm going to put it here. And then we're going to sit down and put our feet in. Do you think the water's going to be cold or hot? Warm. Oh, it's going to be warm. Alright, let's see. Is it nice? What's it feel like? Whoa! I feel like she wishes she could just jump in. <laughs> How stunning is this? There's just this natural hot spring that built like a little place you can sit down. It looks just so beautiful and the wind sometimes picks up and so you just see these autumn leaves. It's so picturesque. This is one of my favourite spots I think we've gone to on this trip so far. Alright, let's test it out. I feel like Hunter would love to stand in it. It's so hard to explain to Hunter that she can only put her feet in. She's like, can I jump in yet? What is going on? So I had to keep her jump wrong just to try and make her feel like she can't go in. <laughs> oh my god, Hunter. She's <laughs> so happy. Relaxing. Relaxing. And with that, our two-week Japan trip slowly came to an end. We hope you all enjoyed exploring one of our favorite countries in the entire world. See you all just after Christmas.